Yeah, so this uh, change in uh, uh, trajectory was uh, uh, reported uh, on October 29th, uh, just uh, a few days ago, and um, it was uh, inferred from uh, a deviation uh, that was measured by the ALMA Observatory in Chile, and uh, we are still waiting for more data, but I calculated that if uh, uh, this was triggered by mass loss as the object got close to the sun, uh, so that it got a recoil in the standard way that comets get, uh, then it should have lost a significant fraction of its mass, about a sixth of its mass, and uh, that implies that, you know, there should be five billion tons of material around it uh, that were lost, and it's a major mass loss that should reveal the nature of the object, if that's the case. But it could also be a completely different propulsion uh, method uh, that has to do with technology, and for that uh, we have to keep our minds open. Um, and so uh, we will see in the coming weeks what the origin of this uh, non-gravitational acceleration is, how big it is. Uh, uh, but the first time it was reported was just uh, a few days ago. Maybe some people, is, uh, some experts are talking about uh, this three atlas, uh, this uh, acceleration, and uh, some people is talking about that uh, it's becoming um, more brew, uh, more brewer. Uh, what do you think uh, yes. about this? Yeah, um, so the acceleration, I should say, if it came from a technological uh, uh, origin, then it, it, it makes sense because that's you expect um, to get the, the most efficient boost to the velocity at closest approach uh, to the sun, taking advantage of the gravitational assist of the sun. With that we do that with uh, spacecraft. Um, but um, in, in general, um, uh, we, we just don't know what is the origin uh, of that acceleration. And uh, the object became indeed bluer than the sun uh, when it came uh, closest to it. That's surprising because usually when an object loses uh, mass in the form of dust, the dust reddens an object, it becomes redder. And also uh, red means uh, a cool temperature. Uh, and uh, usually we expect uh, the, uh, these objects to have much cooler temperature than the surface of the sun because uh, they are at a distance from the surface and we expect the uh, uh, Three Eye Atlas to have a temperature of order a few hundred degrees above absolute zero. That's 20 times smaller than the surface temperature for the sun of 5,800 degrees. So it should have appeared red relative to the sun. Nevertheless, it's blue. Uh, so there are two possibilities again. One is that uh, this blue color was obtained from a carbon monoxide that lost uh, an electron. That's a, a molecule that can, in, pro in principle, uh, uh, generate blue light. Uh, and if there is a lot of carbon monoxide, the CO, near the object, it might be the origin of the blue light. Uh, but um, an another possibility is that the object has an engine that is much hotter than the surface temperature of the sun, and that's where the blue color comes from.